Are you still looking at ROAS? Well, everybody, I'm here today to tell you that ROAS is no longer the marketing metric that you should be looking at. Have you ever heard of return on marketing investment? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. So what is ROMI? What is the real meaning? Well, aside from the literal meaning of return on marketing investment, ROMI is the amount of profit that you can directly attribute to your marketing while considering the cost of that marketing. It's a type of metric that tells you the return on your investment, but ROMI is unique in that it focuses solely on marketing investments rather than sweeping investments. ROMI segregates marketing investments from other kinds of investments because they act differently. Marketing investments are considered a risk because there is not a 100% guarantee that the investment will see a full return. Of course, as digital marketing professionals, we know that there's a very high probability that you will see a return on investment if it's done right. The idea of ROMI has actually been around since the turn of the century, but it's gaining some momentum recently. Once you know your ROMI, you have a good idea of whether you're in the red or the green in terms of marketing investments. But you can also determine how much you've earned based on the risk capital. With the results of your calculation at hand, you can determine pivots and trajectory for your marketing strategy moving into the upcoming quarters. And yes, I highly recommend addressing marketing metrics on a quarterly basis. This is going to help you maximize your team's efficiency and distribute resources properly. Okay, I want to talk about a study around this initiative. Let's dive into it. In 2018, a company called Outsell released a study about ROMI in the auto dealer industry. The findings were pretty spectacular. Here are the study's parameters. 300 U.S. dealerships, September through October 2018, 420,000 customers, 3.5 million customer interactions, and 72 million in media spend. Ultimately, analyzing ROMI highlighted some really important things. 50% of those dealerships were overspending on at least one marketing initiative. The study also showed patterns between big dealers and small dealers. This study is just one example of why you should be looking at ROMI. Okay, so what's the equation look like? Let's dive into it. Incremental revenue from marketing in dollars minus cost of goods in dollars minus marketing spend in dollars divided by marketing spend in dollars equals return on marketing investment or ROMI. Let's look at that one more time. Incremental revenue from marketing in dollars minus cost cost of goods in dollars minus marketing spend in dollars divided by marketing spend in dollars equals return on marketing investment. So really, you're looking at the revenue that you're getting from marketing minus the cost of goods minus the marketing spend, and you're dividing that by marketing spend. All of this is in dollars. Your ROMI factor will come out to be a number, either whole or by decimal, depending on the result of a percentile. To get a percentile, just multiply the factor by 100. Here's an example of what that might look like in a real world example. So say you've got $20,050 in revenue from marketing, minus $100 of cost of goods, minus $4,000 in marketing spend. You're then gonna divide that by the marketing spend and you're gonna get 3.9875 or 398.75%. There you go. Now you've got your ROMI baseline. ROMI actually applies to both short-term and long-term marketing. Short-term ROMI, this is how you determine your revenue for every dollar of marketing investments. It's more of a basic approach to ROMI, but it's good for many marketing teams. It can help you direct your marketing efforts moving forward based on how lucrative or not lucrative they actually are. And you're determining how lucrative they are based on actual numbers, not just guesstimation. Now, when it comes to long-term, a long-term lens on ROMI marketing makes sense for teams looking to better understand marketing efforts like brand awareness and consumer intent. Basically, it addresses the long-term value of your marketing efforts, as well as the incremental revenue that's crucial to your bottom line. Okay, so what's better, ROMI or ROI? Let's dive into that point. So ROMI and return on investment are actually the same calculation, but you're looking at it from a different perspective. Here's what I mean. ROI could be about any investment in your company. ROMI, on the other hand, has to do with marketing specifically. Now let's talk about ROMI versus ROAS. Return on ad spend is your marketing income divided by your marketing expenses. ROMI is different because it deducts your cost of goods and advertising expenses. Again, this gives you a more streamlined take on what's really propelling the brand reputation and the revenue. 
So what's the bottom line on ROMI? The bottom line is ROMI is the best way to get a clear idea of your return on marketing investment. If you have questions about ROMI, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I love chatting with you online. I'll see you next time. Bye.